Hello everyone and welcome back to Valkia the Bloody. And Malekith is dead, so now we just need to take Karn Kar to finish our first campaign goal. But Karn is very hurt and he's gonna be the one to do it, but he's been fighting Greenskins who's been putting up a good fight, so we gave them to Korn. I think he's gonna have fun with them. But yeah, we're gonna have to recover a little bit because we are very hurt after them, but it's fine. We're gonna have to get our characters in there anyway because Harald is ready. And I guess Karn is also ready, so this is gonna be a Karn army. Alright, well that's that's fun. So yeah, we're gonna take it slow here, we're gonna recover a little bit. At least our Marauders are gonna heal up pretty quickly. And I guess as soon as the Marauders are fairly healthy, we can probably start get going. Because the trolls are ready to go, the Skull Cannon is ready to go, and all the characters are ready to go. So don't think we're gonna have to wait seven turns for the Chaos Spawn to finish, but that's fine. I guess we could go after the Frozen City, that would get us another, uh, another Dark Fortress, which would be very nice. But we're gonna take it slow, we don't have to decide anything now because we don't have any movement, and we wanna get our characters in here anyway. And I think Valkia is... Uh, I guess we need to kill the, this guy so Malekith doesn't come back. Although Mung seemed to be <laughs> dealing with that anyway, so I guess that's fine. I think we're gonna go and take out the dwarves and then maybe work our way down to start killing the Tomb Kings. We might be friends with Torox because, I mean, he's a corn guy, so why not? We'll see. He's also a very angry guy, so he kind of kills everything he comes across. So we'll see. But we do have a quest battle. So once we're nice and healthy, I think it's time to do a quest battle. Oh, and actually, can you... Yes, we can get we can get chosen. Oh, yes. We're not gonna have any shields, though, because that's <laughs> kind of what we need to shield. Except for Valkia, but she she's proven herself to do fine with a shield. But question is, do we keep the 25 models, or do we keep the, like, 25% health? Let's find out. We do keep the model count, so that's that's good. Alright, so you can go and be a Chosen. You can go and be a Chosen. You're, oh wait, that's the Chosen. You still need one more rank, but you should be able to get that pretty quick. And you can actually start getting... Actually, this is going to cost us a lot of money if we're going to take all of this, this uh, extra upkeep cost. So we might just wait for these to right before we fight something. But we've got to remember to actually upgrade them. And you are only one rank away from Chaos Knight. Nice. Alright, so we're almost ready to promote these guys. Sweet. Alright, so I think we're ready to pass the turn. And we gotta decide if we're going for Frozen City or Carlin Car first. It would be nice, but I also would like to finish the first campaign goal. We'll see. They are gonna rebel, so... Hmm. If... If Sigvald isn't there, then they're gonna be a little bit hurt. So maybe that's the way to go. Alright, so... Yeah, some, some ogres are dead. Quintara claimed the Sword of Cain. Well, that's fun. Dagorax and don't think I care about that. And I guess you're done up here because you... Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, well, that's fine. We got Mung here dealing with it. So, there's no way they're not gonna win that. Yeah, there's no garrison, <laughs> there's no unit. You're gonna be able to win that. So, instead of running towards that, how about you go and occupy this? Because that would be a much better use for your time here. Would especially want you to get Hargan Ness, but alright. So, let's actually go up and have a quick look-see here. They seem to have had a... Rebellion, but there's almost nothing in there, and we don't see Sigvald. You know what? I think I want to go after this, and it seems like we can get there next turn. Yeah, because uh, we'll go over here, and then it's going to take two turns in Encamp Stance, but Encamp Stance takes 50% of our movement anyway, so yeah. Alright, well, let's go and sit over there. Ready. Ah, shit. Well, set you over there. We might get you in there as well. And you're gonna be able to get in there. Alright, that is perfect. So, you seem to be dealing with that. So, we should be able to go and fight the dwarves here. But we're gonna take a... 
Do we even need to take a there turn off uh, of encamp because we're replenishing really nicely here. And you are a city, but you're a pretty weak city, so that's fine. So yeah, we're just gonna go and raise that. You have 12 more turns, that is fine. And you're fine. And yeah, we do have a early detection beacon here before anyone attacks there, so that is gonna be good, because they went and actually took that. Wish they kept going, but oh well. That's fine. I'm just happy they're doing something, because sometimes vassals are just absolutely useless. You will die weeping. And I Malekith see. just desperately trying to live, but it's not gonna... Ooh, that was Katep. Oh, we might be able to go and kill M Katep. Highly devoted. A specific region belonging to the Cage Breakers is showing great devotion. Such unholy faith can be wielded to further your own ends. I kind of just love that we're <laughs> that we have chaos chaos orcs, and I don't want to lose uh, campaign movement range. So yeah, give them some uh, give them some uh, stuff there. Uh, can you go and occupy that, please? That would be great. I don't know if they are ever like do what you tell them, but uh, nice monk took Kinagarod, But we're gonna try, see if this works. And uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was that was a mil miscalculation. So um, let's start upgrading some of these. We're gonna fight Kata here. So get these dual axes. We'll. Uh, I think we're gonna take one of these on the spawn route. Although, we can probably send you up as spawn instead. Yeah, that's fine. Set you up as Forsaken, get you to spawn, that's gonna be good. And the rest of ya, just gonna go dual axis. Hell yeah! Oh, we get some money and souls for it. Excellent! And you're so close to that knight. Oh, I just want that knight. But this is gonna be good. God, oh, who are you fighting? Nagaron and Hagrid. Yeah. No one we care about. I'd rather have you Bring fight our glory. our vassals here as well. So we're gonna declare war on Katip and bring in everybody. So yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I just wanna kill Katip here. And Venom of Swiftness should probably go to our Skull Crushers, because they can just crush through everything. It's gonna be great. And they got some chokes to help them, but I don't think that's gonna help them much. Alright, so let's grab some of you. You're gonna go in through there, murder all of them. You're gonna go in through there, murder all of them. Uh, Valkia, you're gonna be on your own, because you're just gonna fly all over this and go and just stab Grand Herophant Kotep. And it's gonna be great. You can go with group two. We'll send you with group one. And you'll go with group two. It's gonna be fine. And these guys are just gonna go where they're needed, I think. And the skull cannons could probably just focus something large. That's gonna be fine. So how about you start shooting these Ushat... Actually, start shooting those Necropolis Knights. Group one, go in. Group two, go in. Valkia, go kill Katep. He needs to die. And oh, actually, kind of, kind of nicked me there. All right, that's fine. We're gonna heal all of this up when we start fighting Katep anyway, so doesn't matter. All right, we need to probably move these guys up. So let's actually grab all of you, charge you in on the front there. You can go and help out with the Ushapti, and you can go and help out with the Ushapti. Get in there and fight, though. But, let's uh, debuff Kotep. Get him down to 9 and 17. And, oh my god, that charge! And then we're just gonna absolutely pick him apart here. Yeah, he's already down below half. Uh, I do still want to pop that and pop that. And, yeah, he's, he's already down here. Alright, so you, let's uh, defend you a little bit, because you're starting to take some damage. Um, you guys need to pull back a little bit, but it was a good charge. Let's get the Burning Blade here. 
Oh, actually, we should have done that. Okay, that's that's the bad order, probably. Uh, let's explode you a little bit. And helm up. And that looks like uh, a very dead Kata. So, Valkyrie, you come on in here and help. All of this fire damage is gonna be pretty good against the Tomb Kings. Oh, and just get that, get that charge. They're just gonna fall apart, and then you continue on into their shit. Just get that charge. I do love the the Chaos Sorcerer here, just... What do you call it when a horse stands up in the back legs? He's doing wheelies with his horse. <laughs> but he just looks badass. Oh, and he's got a weird little mutant arm. Oh, I never noticed that before. Oh, that is... That is badass. Yeah, get him. Beautiful. Alright, so... Did they just... Uh... Yeah! Did they just summon a Ushapta here? I think they did. Are they already dying here? I think they are. Alright, um, we're taking some damage here, so let's just heal you up a little... Or not heal you up, but defend you a little bit. And you can go in and do some wheelies, because <laughs> I feel like you're just hitting your own guys now. If you can get on top of them, that would be great. And you can just wheel about and uh, go and kill these guys. Get on top of you, and the Chosen, push through and go and kill this guy. Uh, you can do this. But yeah, this is, this is very over. And there's a lot of skulls to be taken here at the very least, so that's good. And yeah, that is crumbling. Excellent. Yeah, that was just satisfying. <laughs> just cutting through the bones of our enemy. And there we go. And, I mean, the Chosen with uh, a combination of the Fire Sorcerer with uh, the Burning Blade and all that stuff is just so good. <laughs> but we're gonna blood take the blood. souls there because they had... Those skeletons were really pumped with souls, blood weren't the they? Bloody. Ooh, and Grom Brindle is in there. Alright. So, what do we want to do with Valkyrie now? I guess we want to finish that. Don't think I care about any of those, so... Not sure if she actually needs better stats. Might just give the... Give the horsemen, or I guess the future Chaos Knights, some big buffs. We don't have a lot of them now, but... Uh, they're gonna be Chaos Knights soon, so... This is, this is some nice shit. And I mean, we might have some demons Gifts and stuff, but yeah, champion. I think I think that's what we're going for here. And how are you still alive? Wait, what? How, oh, they still have you. Malekith is running around and... Wait, no, that's not Malekith. He just popped up there. Uh, so you got out of there somehow. But, I mean... I don't think there's anywhere you can go and survive. I guess you can land on Hag Reef. But that's a blood ground, so you can't sell that. Yeah, so I don't know what you what you're gonna Consult do here, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna build some towers here. See Still if they come out to fight. Cord. But I don't want to go and attack dwarves without some towers. I think. So you need to finish transportation of lead. You need to. Well, you finished all of that, so I guess uh, you're just gonna have miscast chance reduction. And I guess we might take a flame storm, just in case we want to cast in uh, in melee, because I have heard a lot of suggestions to let them actually cast. So there seems to be some people that actually want us to. Oh god damn it, we can't reach. So there seems to be some people that actually wants us to to cast with our casters, or at least kill with our casters. We might still do it, so we'll see. I am considering it. But yeah, we're just going to take a turn of replenishment here then. We're going to go and take the Frozen City next turn. Hopefully Sigvault doesn't show up. I was hoping we could get there in time, but... Oh well. I guess this is fine. And we'll take it next turn. But as long as Sigvault doesn't get there next turn, we're going to be alright. And... Uh, 
we actually get a nice chunk of replenishment here, even uh, in World Sieging, so that's good. Let's see if they come out to fight. You would be wise to give me absolute and what do you... Oh, you want trade? Yeah, sure. Give me some money, though. Thank you. Oh, you did. You did expand. Excellent. All right. So they didn't come out to fight. So we're going in to fight them instead. But that's fine, because we got Chosen of Corn in Siege Tower. So we're going to get some fresh Chosen on their walls. And I don't think they have anything they can deal with Chosen. I mean, I guess they have some... Do they have hammers or longbeards? Either way, I don't think any of those can do more than just dent Chosen. Because I don't think there's anything or any infantry in the game that can actually beat Chosen of Corn, Except maybe Nurgle Chosen, because their, their armor piercing is so good. And if these guys have one weakness, it's that their armor piercing isn't almost all of their damage it's just half of their damage so still excellent but it could be better so let's get you out of there because we want more dual access on the walls because we are just wanna we just want to clean that up as soon as possible and um, is this actually where we want to go they might this is pretty nice and open we can avoid most of their tower by just going through here but we can still send our mobility on this side yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, we're just gonna go and take this wall. We're gonna run around, send our mobility stuff here while Valkyrie just <laughs> murders stuff on the wall with our Chosen. Yeah, this is gonna be good. So, um, actually, let's put all of you in group one. You're gonna, you're gonna pile up on the wall and help out with the gate. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna go and take out the gate together with you guys. That's gonna be fine. Actually, all of you. No, we don't need to bring this. No, no, no. Actually, this is how we're doing it. All of you are gonna run over there, start messing up the walls or gate. And uh, I guess you'll start shooting the gatehouse a little bit. It's gonna be fine. Alright, and I put you in group one. That's fine. So, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. And get up there. You start shooting the gate. All of you go and start punch the gate, except for you and you, who are going to be ready to get up there. You're going to in the gate. You're going to go over here and punch that gate. And we're doing some good damage on the gate here, actually. So that's good. And right, Valkya, you go up. Oh, you go and just fight Grumbrindo. Oh, I didn't move you. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, that's fine. We're just gonna get here, slowly lumbering on towards the wall, and um, once we get there, everything is everything is dying. So that's great. All right, as soon as Valkia makes her way here, we're gonna debuff him. We're gonna cast all of our buff spells, and we should be able to take down Grom Brindle pretty quick. And he knows what's coming for him, and he rightfully oh wait, he's looking on the ground. <laughs> he's just dreading Valkia, who's hovering up above him. And there she is. Alright. Debuff him. We can't ha let him have all of those stats. We're gonna need that. And um, let's be invulnerable for a little bit. And just cut down the white dwarf here. He's even sending some backup. And I think we have guns pointed at us as well. But that's like a quarter health down already that's pretty effective um, you can probably stop shooting and get on on the wall or gate instead you're about a third in there and there's a marauder horseman just waiting that's fine we got regeneration on you uh, we can uh, get some resistances on you we need transmutation of lead I mean, your armor piercing is pretty strong there, and all right. Get in. Crushers first. Beautiful. Continue into the quarrelers. Oh, keep going. You can go in there. It's fine. Um, let's plague off Rust these Warp Warriors, so we bring them down real quick. Chosen, you go down and fight, because apparently they just abandoned the walls. You go and fight these long bears. You go and fight these long bears. And the chosen, you go and fight these guys. 
How are we doing here? Halfway through. Excellent. We're working on it. We got Chosen down helping now. So that's not gonna be a problem now. <laughs> I think that just spelled the doom of Grom Brindle. We are taking some shots in the back. And he actually... Damn, they're pulling some of, some of, some of them down with us. But that is alright. We're gonna cut through these guys. And, oh, shit. Um, you get up there. You get up there. You guys, get in there. We can get a huge area. Alright, I didn't realize it was that big. Oh, shit. You are dying here. Let's pull you back. How are you dying so badly? What is killing you? Let's send you down here instead. You're almost through. Alright, let's uh, glittering scales you as well because I don't want to lose you. Yeah? Uh, let's buff these guys. Oh, what are you doing, Valkyrie? Get back in there. The white dwarf must fall. And she's descending from the heavens to just bring him to the realms of Korn. Oh, I think we killed our own guys instead. <laughs> but he's dead. Let's go and kill these thunderers. We should have been doing for a while. Alright. Let's go and kill these quarrelers. Let's go and kill these quarrelers. Yeah, fine, you're killing this guy. And yeah, we're just murdering these long bears. That's fine. Yeah, keep going into the thunders. You're fine. You need your health potion, I think. Oh, and we do have this as well. Pop that, pop that. Start murdering stuff. Real good. Stay here and fight. And let's actually get a big thunderous charge. Downhill into these dwarves. <laughs> oh, shit. That is nasty. And yeah, that took out like half of that unit. Let's go and help out with these slayers. The slayers aren't great against armor anyway. Alright, chosen into the dwarf warriors. Well, yeah, you keep fighting over here. We can debuff these dwarf warriors though. Pop that and pop that. And this should be open, right? Yeah, definitely open. Just get in here. I've been forgetting about you. Get some defenses. Oh, you need to get in here. And you are definitely done with that, so you can start getting inside. Get you up here and just a long stream of uh, cavalry and hounds. Very nice. So, you're doing your job. Excellent. Let's pop that and let's explode these guys a little bit. Oh, you need to go and do some donuts. And let's buff these, these chosen to 98 melee attack and 100 damage. Yeah, they're not gonna stand up long with that. Oh, they are grudge throwers. I didn't even realize. All right. Kill these grudge, uh, grudge settlers. Yeah, there. Dwarf warriors. All right. Well, push on to these guys. I think we're about to have our minosas. So I guess we should focus these slayers. Did we just lose something? It looked like this just got smaller. Or did I just make that up? <laughs> All right. But I think. Oh shit, they have stuff over here as well. Alright, send shit over there. Send shit over there. Yeah, those... Those slayers are dead. And you can go and do some donuts on you. You guys, you go and fight over here. You're gonna be alright. Defenses and debuff the crap out of these guys. Let's see, their stats are pretty bad. Is that really with... No, that's not with uh, <laughs> with transmutation of lead. Like, the weapon strength went down, but where's the melee attack reduction? But yeah, there we go. Alright, so you took a lot of damage. I don't know what happened to you, but <laughs> not a fan of it. I would like all of those souls, but we're pretty alright on souls, and um, I don't want to have to run. I don't want to run away like 
halfway through the mountains when we raise it. Hey, Nagaron is dead. Excellent. Yeah, I feel like we would run down here. Which I guess would be fine if we want to take you out, but I want to go and finish off the dwarves here. So I think we're just going to take a loop off this mountain. And uh, yeah, I need to recover with you a little bit. And that's another world settlement, but Grumbrindle is dead, so that's good. That should make this siege a little bit easier. But yeah, we're just going to make sure that we're healthy, and then we're going to go and uh, do the quest battle. So we will do it today, <laughs> just not quite yet, because I don't know what's awaken. waiting for us. So I don't want to, I don't want to go in God. with too hurt of an army. So let's do that. You need to finish that off. You get, yeah, campaign movement range and more spell resistance is fine. That's all right. That's all right. Ooh, the Swords of Chaos. Those are fun. All right, and now we can go and take the Frozen City. So, we're a little bit hurt, and uh, really, <laughs> with that defense, all right, I guess we go in and fight this too. Double siege battle today, I guess. All right, so they don't have a lot of stuff, so we want to go into a nice open part. So I think this is going to be the side again, because this is the same map as the pre previous fight. And uh, we're going to go and hide. Can you not hide? You cannot hide in forest. All right. Well, you're going to hide with these guys, though. It's going to be fine because I want you to re recover and you're not recovering very quick. These guys, however, they don't need to recover because they recover really quick. You're going to go and just bust down this gate. You're going to sit back and shoot and you're going to just uh, go and bust down this gate. And you're going to help. So start shooting that. Go in and fight that and you can start moving up they're gonna shoot us with their towers here which is gonna hurt but we should be all right here so let's get you like over there start throwing your shit and yeah you even got a health potion so it's fine that you take a little bit of shooting but you're honestly you honestly didn't take that much damage All right, so I guess we just move up and let them shoot at whatever they want because I think these explosions here is going to do some damage to us. <laughs> and we are getting that that gate down really quick, actually. So let's uh, move up, get ready to get in here and just wait for our guys to bring down the gate. Oh, what is happening here? They exploded with something for some reason. We spawned a unit. Oh, they have some demonettes. Oh, shit. You sneaky fucks. All right. Oh, well, that's fine. We're almost through. And I guess we could wait for these guys to disintegrate. Actually, they're permanent. Never mind. But we are through here. So, get in here. Um, at least one of you go after the shrine. And if you're, if you're gonna blob around me, then uh, bring down the hammer. There we go. No one hammers demonets like hammers. <laughs> Holy shit, that was good. Oh yeah. All right, you don't have any spells yet. Um, all right, let's uh, get you in here. Anyone who get get in is welcome inside. Let's debuff you. Pop that. And you're down to six and seven. That's gonna be fine. The trolls are doing their thing. You're not going in here, so you can go in and start doing wheelies. Because you are actually out of ammo. Alright. You got some abilities too, so let's debuff uh, some Forsaken here. Alright, you don't have any spells still. That's fine. So I guess we just uh, enjoy the show. Where's Hammerstorm? I want to look at Hammerstorm. There he is. Such a cool, cool guy. <laughs> Love him. Sorcerer is doing some work. We got a skull cannon in here. To start doing wheelies, and you are right in the thick of it. I guess you can hang out here now. So let's get some health and defenses on you. 
They're doing fine. Uh, when can we do another... Oh, we can bring down the hammer again soon. So let's see if we can push you in a little bit further. It's pretty good AP. So if we can just get into the middle of this. There we go. Bring the hammer down. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. Ah, oh, that is so good. All right. Well, no one is shooting us anymore, but if you could just lob your javelins over here, that would be great. And I'm sticking to it. Oh, you are you can get in there and actually fight better. So yeah, just grind through this. Pop our abilities as they come. You need that. Uh, that's debuff these guys a little bit. Let's debuff uh, those guys a little bit. And Horn of Corn. Now we're gonna start killing. <laughs> There's just a thick line going out the gate. Alright, like you need to really just get in there. There you go. You're fighting, you're doing fine. You're fighting, doing fine, but you can be used over there. And I guess if we can just grab all of you and just focus the Lord here, that would be great. You can go and help. Because we're kind of stuck in the entrance here. But I feel like some of these should should start routing here. You got another horde. There we go. All right. That took its sweet ass time, but uh, it was pretty clean, I think. All right. So I don't think we took too much damage here. And I think most of it was on our Marauders anyway. And they're going to heal up just fine. So this is great. And we are going to occupy this. Finally get some more... Some more income. And... Uh, I mean, I guess uh, the... Corn corruption and... Uh, melee attack for all armies is... What we're going for. So you got your Chaos Steed. That's good. We secured this space. And if we can just uh, get you to attack that, we can... Oh, well, I do want you to occupy that, but if you could go and attack that, that would be great. Alright, they're going to take this back. Uh, or they just attacked it and now they're running away, because this is seems sacked. Alright, well that's fine. That doesn't seem that bad, and... Uh, we got a decent garrison here. Oh, we actually got some elves helping out. No, that's not what I meant. We actually got some hel elves helping out. So we got an outpost there. Neat. I like it. And right, this is still the same turn. So, all right. We're going to pass the turn. After I check what gift we got. Right, we have this, which is pretty good. We can get our... Our... Uh, shrine now but I think I'd rather just have my characters on shrine or a character on a shrine I don't think we necessarily need the unit so I think that's fine and I don't think the corn shrine is that good it gives some melee attack and damage to everything but it has to get pretty high so once we get there we've already done most of the damage so I don't think it's one of the good ones I like the Slanesh corn and even Siege better. I think Corn is probably the worst one. So yeah, I think this is fine. We're gonna recover. We can probably take like this turn and the next. And this feels thinner to me. I don't know what happened, but <laughs> it looks thinner to me. But that might just be my brain playing tricks on me. But yeah, we got this. Oh, we got some leveling to do. So you've done that. In that case, we can start getting some combat stats on you because you're not even... Actually, we could have given you troll shit. Because we're gonna... We have some spawn, we have some trolls. Yeah, some... Some monster strength would be good on you. But we can still get that. So, grab that. You need to... You need to get to play Rust and Glittering Robes so you can cast good. And... I guess uh, the hammer is just gonna go down his special route here. So, bigger, bigger loss reduction against, uh, well, I guess 
for the hero or hero's army is pretty good. Flaming attacks for uh, the entire army is also pretty sweet. Melee defense for an entire army is really good. And 25 armor. Oh my. I have forgotten how good <laughs> Hammerstorm is. Holy shit. That is a 100 armor marauder. That's pretty damn nuts. All right. And we're going to start buffing melee defense and <laughs> give them flaming attacks. Oh, hell yeah. That is sweet. You will facilitate my and Grond wants trade. Excellent. Oh, our reliability is high. That's why everyone starts training with us. Sweet. We've recovered. <laughs> Alright, we got another outpost. Well, we don't need that because... Yeah, we're kind of just going to abandon that anyway. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, let's go into encamp stance. Get a turn carnage. of replenishment. I guess it's fine that you're hurt. Can you... No, that's just rank 7. Ah, dang it, you're all so close. We can get you to Chaos Knight. But we're going to have four of them. Well, with the Skull Crusher. So I think four might be a good number. We do want a fair amount of just infantry. Yeah. Although, it's six enough. Might want to send you in, in there. Ah, we'll see. I think for now, you're going to be a Chosen. And uh, you're probably going to work towards Chosen Feel as well. And you're going after that. Oh, excellent. Yeah, burn those guys. That's going to make this a little bit safer. So we can go down here. We'll get some replenishment. And uh, yeah, we're just going to continue on to current car. Excellent. New level. So now you can finally get probably glittering roads. And we're going to pass the turn again. And then we're going to do the quest battle. Sigvald wants peace, but I'm going to give it to you. Because Slanesh is filth and will be scoured off this world. And uh, yeah, that's that's healthy enough. Let's go and do... Uh, or let's go and grab Slopnir. It is going to give us a bunch of uh, replenishment as well, which is going to help the other guy. And that is a lot of extra corn authority. That's nice. That's going to lower our upkeep. So yeah. Damn, that is a lot of uh, armor-piercing weapon damage though. And more uh, more arm or no, not more armor piercing. More bonus versus large. That is excellent. Let's see what we are fighting. I thought we were fighting Skaven, which we are, but Yeah, alright. This looks fun. Glad we have some chosen ready for all of these orc boys. We're just gonna cut through them like paper. But that is two fairly strong armies. Yeah, alright. Let's find out what they're made of. And there was actually some really good yes! camera work in this one. Usually they have some static angles or some sweeping, but this was a little step above. I liked it. So, it seems like we're getting some help here. We're fighting a bunch of green skins, but we knew that. And uh, they get a herald, a lot of blood letters, so they're gonna do some damage. They're gonna die, but uh, they're gonna do some damage to the orcs before they do. And they got some, sp some spawn. And a Blood Reaper. Yeah, alright. That's a very glass cannon. And uh, there I say suicidal army, but uh, they will definitely do some damage. That's that's sweet. And that is a very poorly aimed breath attack. But uh, pretty much the same thing here. We got some Blood Letters, some Flesh Hounds though. Still a spawn and... Ooh, an Exalted Bloodthirster. Well, that's cool. They are really cool looking. Not great. <laughs> Not a great unit, but damn cool looking. Alright, so where do we attack? We could just go and help with these guys, take out the artillery so we don't have to worry about that. But 
it feels like this is further away. These guys are gonna die pretty quick. And uh, an unfortunate terrain, so it's gonna be hard to deal with, I think. So we might just attack in here. It's a little bit closer, and we get to hit them in the rear, which is kind of nice. So I think we're just gonna attack over here, and I think that is fine. So let's just drag our army like that. We're gonna be group one. Murder squad. Honestly, let's go after the Lord. It's gonna be fine. If you can't get there, then um, try harder. <laughs> you go in and fight together with you. So, yeah, just... Uh, actually, let's go and hit the arrow boys. Hit the arrow boys. You don't do fire damage, so I guess hit the, hit the arrow boys. And um, we're just gonna start throwing some axes at some trolls. And you can start shooting some trolls. Oh, actually, they had a giant, didn't they? Where was that giant? Oh, there it is. Hiding in the forest. Oh, you cowardly little greenskins. All right, well, shoot the shoot the trolls in the meantime, then. And uh, let's see what they're made of. So, we just need to get into position, but... Uh, oh, that's actually... The hounds are gonna die if we send them in just aggressively like that so keep them a little bit in the reserve get ready to do some work here and you're going way too far here stay back a little bit throw your axes you can charge these arrow boys though and just cycle around Valkia can without problem just get in here Debuff the Lord, pop that, pop that, and start murdering him. That's gonna be fine. Ooh, let's get you on the Savage or uh, Savage Giant. And yeah, let's uh, just go and, go and attack the first best thing you find. Turn you guys around, just plow through these guys. Oh, they got so much, so much mass. It is wonderful. They just pull through things. And then we go into the Rat Ogres. Why are there Rat Ogres here? I don't know. But uh, they're gonna die. So, send you over there. Send you in over there. Nothing is going around this way though. And yeah, you're dying pretty quick. Alright, so we are engaging with a lot of stuff here. Let's uh, get the Halberd on the Giant there. Get you in there, get you in there, get you in there. You're not fighting anyone. Get in there. You can even debuff your... Oh my god, what is happening with you? <laughs> let's pull you out so we don't lose you. Um, let's get a... Oh, we can buff their stuff with it, but... I think I'd rather buff my own stuff. So, get that. We got halberds on the giant. We can horn this, though. But I'd still rather just horn this. Kill all of these things. You need to get out of there, though. And can we focus the giant with you, maybe? Did we kill the lord? Looks like we did. Alright, sweet. Let's go and murder you, then. Shoot down some magic on you. Probably need some defenses here as well. And... Uh, let's transmutation of lead there. Let's debuff those guys a little bit. Because this is all going down. Horsemen. Huh. Let's run you around and take out the Plague Claws, because most of the army is moving over now that they're done. Yeah, you're going down pretty good. You're going down. You're going down here. Yeah, so we're, we're fine here. Let's uh, get on top of you. Let's hold you back a little bit. These big ones are putting in some work, though. Yeah, just chill there. Send you into the big ones, do some donuts. Lots of trolls there, though. But yeah, you're going down pretty quick. Let's send you in there. And we can't give you fire damage yet. Alright, but you can go and just start cutting this down. There is no way these rats are standing up to dual axis of corn. So, send you guys in there. You guys are done. Send you into the blob. Let's have you Glorious snipe Lord. that, and... Oh shit! The Bloodthirster is still alive! Excellent! 
So get on top of that. Get on top of that. We need to shut those down. Because they're just leaving here. Excellent. Uh, you're all going away. You're all going away. So let's... Oh, you need to die though. Oh, we're still fighting some trolls there. Yeah, you can go and help with that. You actually have fire damage. You're, like, made for fighting trolls. Pop that. We're gonna need some burning blades here. Pop that. You might be a little bit aggressively positioned here. That's alright. Oh, shit. You're taking a lot of damage from this guy. Alright. Well, first my halberds. You're right here. Alright, sweet. You are gonna need to pull... Oh my god, you went deep. Alright. All right, run away. These are all dead. Hit these in the rear. Good. Um, we're gonna need some glittering robes all over this. There we go. Are you dying? I think you might be dying here. <laughs> Let's get you out. Of but you get on that. You get on that. And you get on that. There we go. Got rattling guns, but we can smush into them. Because we're just pushing through these poison winds, we're pushing into the rattling guns, and we're just smushing them into this blob here. Oh my shit! Holy crap! Well, you need to get out of there. Luckily, you're on a horse. <laughs> uh, I was just gonna drink his potion there. But damn, that, that abomination just ruined you. I think you're actually gonna come back thanks to glittering robes though, so we can drink your potion. Yeah, we're killing you. Uh, we're pushing in with you. Let's... Oh, I've uh, left you off for too long now. But yeah, if you can just come back, I would love to give you your potion so you're not that hurt. But that's fine. Uh, let's get a let's get a shield on you. And I guess that's pretty much game. Alright. Let's try to get a glittering robe on you and get you back and drink your potion, I think. See if we can do that, because I think this is pretty over. Although they still have something alive here. Don't know what that is. Alright, whatever. Let's get a glittering robe on you. See if you come back. Would be great if you could. You've been running a little... I need to overcast it. Shit. <laughs> All right. That's fine. What is still alive here? There's something fighting. What is still alive? I don't see anything. And he is still alive with a sliver at the very least. Man, that, uh, that abomination just ended him. Because I saw he was getting low and I figured I'd go there and drink his potion, but <laughs> he just got bodied. Oh, shit. Alright, well, that's fine. We're gonna grab this. I don't I don't like this one. It doesn't do enough. Like, 5%? What even is that? That is just kind of lame. When I can take 700 souls and 3,000 gold. Accept yeah. Death. Like, that's never gonna happen. Even if it's just 40 souls and shit like that, it's still worth it to take souls over that, I think. Unless you really think it's gonna be really needed uh, authority for each gift of corn that's pretty all right we got oh we got his juggernaut and uh, Cormac is apparently like a lore character so really don't want to lose him although does he has immortality he does not so yeah glad we got to keep him then so yeah he's definitely gonna get to be on his juggernaut because they're awesome actually Let's get just get Woodmaker. Woodmaker is sweet. Carnets awakened. And you get to keep leveling that. Woman. You need to get everything so you don't miscast so much. Sword maiden of the blood god. And I guess Firestorm. Still not sure if I'm ever gonna use it, but it's nice to have. Bringer of glory. And I am gonna start ending this episode, but I wanna see. Yeah, I'm. Actually, that's a Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. We might have to fight this one, actually. We're gonna be fighting a lot of... Uh, a lot of sieges now. Do you have a minigun? Cool! I like it! <laughs> Alright, and you are... You're gonna take a turn with you? Or do we just go? 
We're pretty healthy. I think we can just go. Yeah, let's go and take out Karankar. We're not gonna get the replenishment here, but we're pretty much healed up, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm gonna end this here. So next episode, we're gonna take out Altar of the Ultimate Darkness, and we're gonna finish our first campaign goal. We're gonna have to drink his potion the first thing we do when we start this siege, though, but we should be alright here. There's a lot of, of long bears, though. We're gonna be rough to get through, but we got chosen, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.